Okay, here it is. Let me move out the chair. Here's the MV SX uh, Neo Geo put together on its base. There you go. Let me go to the side. That's the side part of it. And let me go to the other side. And that's the other side of it. So it's not in my little arcade yet. So I'm gonna give you some facts about it. First of all, let's start with putting it together. Uh, putting it together was a breeze. It's extremely easy, but um, the only thing is I could not get this part right here to line up evenly. So it's just slightly raised here. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to be completely even. Not that big of a deal as far as I'm concerned, because you don't really notice it when you're looking like this. You're never going to catch that. But um, I just couldn't get it to, to get even on each side. The buttons feel fine. No, uh, probably once a step up from arcade went up. Not, you know, probably to the step of, um, of at games, but definitely not bad. Joysticks feel good. They can use a bigger spring, but they feel pretty good. Uh, the screen. The screen is definitely a step up from Arcade One Up. It's a brighter screen. It just looks really good. It's a very bright screen. I, I actually f wish that all Arcade One Up screens had this type of brightness. Obviously, you've already known from all the reviews that the marquee is awesome. It's a very bright marquee. It shows off the Neo Geo, as you can see. And by the way, you know, I've, a lot of people talked about the coin door and that they wish they didn't put two there, but when it's together, I don't really think it's so bad. So to me, that's not really so bad. I love this coin door. It truly, it honestly looks real. And the way that they bring the plastic out makes it look like you can really collect coins in here. It's so cool. Um, uh, even with the little key locks and stuff. I would rather them have had this with this than nothing, okay? Now, a lot of people talk about how plain it looks on the side, but let me tell you that that might be true, but that is the very close to the original design, and this paint job is beautiful. It is so red. I mean, it's so deep. It's like they put a few layers on it, I don't know if it's, it might even be, it might not even be paint, so. But the point is, the color they use is awesome. Now, if you wanna upgrade, you can put a, a nice big giant decal there and then turn it into what you want. And probably I would like to do that myself. So, with that being said, let's see here. Let's see. And by the way, I'm still learning this. So, um, but this is the gameplay here. You've already seen a lot of reviews of this, so I don't, I don't really need to do this, actually, because you've seen a ton of reviews. But, so I just want to talk about what, how is it, how does it, how did it, um, how was it put together? It puts together, you probably put it together in 20 minutes. Um, personally, I wish Arcade went up, did their machines like this instead of the Ikea, Ikea style. The whole base comes by itself. You get the base, you don't have to put anything together on a base. No marquee, it's all together with the screen. The only thing you're doing is you're putting on, you're, you're, you're putting on the side, um, the front part, the back part, and the bottom part, and the uh, flat part that this um, sits on, and then that's it. And you only need to, it's only one plug, you plug it in right there, and that's it. Okay, so that is the Neo, I mean the MVS X Neo Geo that sit together. Eventually, um, I really should show you how it looks in the arcade. I'm gonna move it one second, hold on. 